Hey, this is Brian from Logic Pro Hacks. Well, it's a wonderful Sunday evening, man. And we're looking at this surreal background of this really cool train coming at you. I don't know where it's taken, but it's really awesome. All right, so enough of that. What we're doing today is there's a lot of confusion going on with how contact works as far as when you do the multi outputs, especially when you want to do an aux send for like a reverb. You know, I saw one on the, on the other day and the guy totally forgot to actually enable the output. And I was like, there was nothing coming out. And he was like showing you how to do this, but I was like, uh, whatever. So send effect through contact. And especially if you have multi layered type of instruments going on and you want to add a little reverb to all of them through a bus instead of trying to use it the other way. All right, well, enough of that. Let's go ahead and I'll show you what how to build this out. All right, we have Logic open up here. Let's kind of maximize it up here. You know, just create a new instrument. And we'll just say, hey, it's new. All right, got a new instrument. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to find our contact. Ba-boom. All right, so it's going to come up. It's going to look like this. And then what you want to do is you want to load your instrument. So say like I want to put my monster pad. So I got a monster bass pad. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to load that in there. Boom. And then, oh, we need a dirty filter pad. So I'm going to go and load that guy in there. And then let's go ahead and put in an aggressive pad because, you know, hey, I'm an older guy. So I, I tend to be a little bit more aggressive. All right. We have all these three instruments in here and if you play something you might be able to hear something that's only coming out of that one side right there it's not coming out with all of them so what we want to do is we just basically just do omni here omni there omni there because i want to be able to play all three of them at the same time so that's why i'm checking omni now if you wanted to split this out and do something like where you're having a different track having a different midi layer then you would select you know one here and then two there you know so on and so forth so but today i, I want to do it this way so then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to make another instrument here just this is i'll just call it my dummy instrument and i'll explain why i'm doing this to do it any other way it just makes it really hard so i just have this simple saw in here and that's going to be my dummy instrument so i got four of them in there now you always need an extra one and I'll explain why in a second. So then we go down here to this batch thing. It's called uh, batch configuration. Go to this batch function and we'll do clear output selection and create one individual channel for each loaded instrument. So what that's going to do is it's going to give me four outputs or four channels. And that's what I want. So I'll go over here, hit that, boom, 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 boom. So it, what it did is create all these things, but look. See how it has one, two, one, two, one, two? We don't want that. I forgot to do something. See what happens if you do it this way? They're all gonna come out of the one channel and it's not gonna work right. So what you need to do is you wanna make sure that you check contact multi 16 stereo or whatever you want. Yeah, but I use that, boom. All right, now this thing right here, this little plus mark can go one, two, three, I want. Four. and then go over here to this batch function and we'll do hit that thing same thing again ba -ba -ba boom now look at look at that one two three four five six seven eight exactly what I want now here's the cool thing we're gonna get rid of this dummy instrument go ahead and click that and then got monster bass pad dirty filter and aggressive bass so what we could do is take this one right here and copy that. Command C and go over here and Command V. And then right here, we're just gonna call this main. All right, now check this out. Monster base pad, I'm gonna bring this guy, I'm gonna bring him down to the bottom. Like so. It doesn't matter. However you want to route it. Now on the dirty filter, 
See how it says 3-4? We want Dirty Filter to say 3-4. Right there. Pick that. See what it says 3-4 right here? Boom. That's what we want. Alright, Aggressor Pad. Aggressor Base. We want it to be 5-6. Five, 5-6. Five and six. Monster Base. 7 and 8. Not Main. There we go. 7 and 8. Cool. Now, check this out. Before you hit play, make sure you turn your volume down. Okay. So then if we hit play, it should all come out. Cool. Man, that sounds good. All right. So then we're going to do something a little bit different here now. We're going to add our reverb channel and do it a very special way. Click on this little thing over here. And then we're going to go over this aux one. The uh, reverb it's convolution sounds really nice. Matter of fact, all their effects on this thing sound really good. So then let's click on that, brings that up. Let's click right there. We'll do a preset today, and there's a really good one here. Plus, see here, big rooms. I'm gonna do Paris Hall. That's a really good one. And then before you do anything, this is really really important. Since we're busting this thing out, you want to remove the dry. See how there's a little dry right here? Remove that. Just completely, you know, no nothing there. Leave the wet. Zero zero. It's good. Now you can click that thing down. Now what this is doing is you have an output right here, but look, it's going 11-12. We don't want 11-12. We actually want this output to go 1-2. Now check this out. I'm going to click this right here. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to pick 1 and pick 2. Hit OK. Uh, whatever. It says that, but you don't have to. Now, check this out. What's going to happen is all the reverb signal is going to go out your main right here. And then how we get this to, to do anything, and I'll show you how you could test this. See, I just clicked on this aux and see how you can lift and lower the aux right here. Oops. There we go. Something like that. And then if we go over here to... right here and just the solo the the main because this is our main let's go ahead and just name it main and hit tab and then do filter to uh, filter pad and aggressor and then we got monster base something like that there we go so if we go ahead and we hit play check this out You're only hearing reverb. And it's coming out of one and two. That is now your reverb channel. And how we know it's working is check this out. Go ahead and undo all these. And then I'll hit play again. Nothing. Nothing's coming out. But if I lift this one up right here, it's coming out of the main. And then. How do we know this is going to work? So then if I hit the mute button and I hit these right here, no reverb. So that's really smooth. That makes it very pro right there. And that's really cool because you can then put some nice reverb on your layered effects here and have it come out its own separate channel and you can automate it. And I like to do stuff like that. And then we'll just go ahead and just add a little bit of reverb here, a little bit of reverb here. And this also uh, helps with your processing, so that way you don't have to put a reverb on, on every single piece within the contact instrument. So then let's go ahead and put this off on the side, and if we play it, Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. That's good. That's good right there. I like that. So this is a cool little trick I learned the other day. I'm going to be creating some really cool big pad type of sample packs that you just heard, heard right here. I'm going to put them on Logic Pro Hacks. So look out for that. If you like this video and you like this trick, hey, give a big thumbs up and subscribe. Appreciate it. All right, this is Brian. Peace out. And remember, my friends, I'm be groovy. Yes, be groovy. Yeah, be groovy, man. Yeah, be curvy, man.